So as you can see, the cloud has become King Kong cloud. It looks like a gorilla's head. Let's just watch it for a minute or so and see uh, where it goes now. But, uh, you can see that uh, the nose is on the right and uh, the high forehead and the back of the head is just exactly like a gorilla. Uh, you can't see the light very well in this camera but the eyes are quite defined and the mouth is even fairly defined. We're getting the forehead being more pronounced now, a little bit bigger. The nose becoming a little bit more pointier and I just wonder if this is real evolution. This is uh, what caused Darwin to actually um, say that man was uh, evolved from apes, was he watching a cloud? And it was changing shape before him, and maybe he thought maybe that's that's how. I was almost going to say man was created. <laughs> yes, of course I'm a creationist, but uh, it's just that you don't want to like because you know these atheists say that you patronize them if you say any word from the Bible which is okay if you're an artist you can create your own work or if you're a joiner you know you can create the furniture and stuff like that for the, you know but um, not God, God can't be a creator can he? Well, yeah he couldn't have created all this that's preposterous and now I believe that this now changed into what looks like a man um, it's got a very very long nose see the pronounced nose on the right hand side, the mouth, the hair it kinda looks like a kinda North African kind of man now <laughs> it's very very well defined I know that it's probably not coming through very well on the camera um, which I could try to change in my next little installment I'll be back